Hey, what's up guys and girls? It's Brandon from uh, Project Never Done, and today we have a S15 sitting here. Uh, now this belongs to a good friend of mine, Richard here. Uh, he's actually the guy who sold me the Fox body to get this car. So um, it's a trade-off for both of us, because I love American Muscle. He loves, you know, he, he's eventually going to end up drifting this, right, Richard? Yeah, yeah, eventually. It needs a little bit of work. There's some uh, electric gremlins in there, try to figure out. Um, yeah. Something in the driveline that's making it uh, break right. Yeah. Um, it's not tracking straight, so... It's so, my first day driving it. We'll yeah. figure everything out. About it so it's a project. Yeah. And it'll probably never be done, right? Mm, Perfect. <laughs> I already have too many projects that aren't done. This one is the one that needs to get done. The whole purpose of this channel, Project Never Done, is they never get done. But uh, the car is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a pearl wrap on it. Um, and it just it doesn't give it justice. I, I can tell right now from the video. Um, it, it's just a kind of... It, it's a super clean car with these little, you know, little tiny issues here and there. But I think all cars have that. Um, but uh, what you was this you? Were you the snow? Uh, you're snow plowing here? Oh, what? what uh, my thing, my thing <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the car was kind of all bashed up, you know. Yeah, um, probably drove too close to parking. We on those, I don't know what they're called in English. We called them the turtles, the parking turtles. Okay, okay. So, I mean, smashed it up. Yeah, of, you know, it's all fiberglass, just put it all off instead of looking it. That's right. But that wasn't me. Yeah, okay. It wasn't your previous owner, it wasn't Richard. All right, well, very cool. And, and this car, I mean, in, in his defense, the previous owner, I mean, it is wicked low. Uh, even you mentioned it today, driving like close to the little cars, the tiny little cars. We have Mornings and Matisse is here in Korea and this thing. They're, 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 they're taller than this car. So, uh, but overall, it's absolutely gorgeous. What year is it? So, 2002. 2002? Yeah, so a couple more years for the uh, 25 year old to click. 25 year old. Okay, it's a couple more years you're gonna sell it for what? Like four times as much as you bought it for, right? Yeah, hopefully. all right. <laughs> <laughs> get, get the issues figured out first. Very cool. Well, I've always loved these. My, my favorite are the S13s, you know, the you know, hatch with some pop up headlights. Yeah, I'm a pop up headlights guy, but uh, these are still have that. What are they, they call them? Strawberry face. Yeah, strawberry. So the history is that this is the S15. And 15 is Ichigo in Japanese. Yeah. But another word for Ichigo in Japanese is strawberry. So ah. that's why everyone in the States, they call these strawberry faces. There you go. There's your there's your uh, history and where that came from. But I, if you literally look at it, it does look like a puckered, you know, strawberry face even, which I love. Um, I, and I, I love the emblem for it too. It just looks looks cool. I don't know how many people come to me and say, oh, well, there's a Skyline or a Sylvia. And they get the mixed up between the Skyline symbol and the Sylvia Lightning Ball, right? So uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of cool. A lot of people, well, yeah, I was at the rest stop earlier today. They don't really get what it is because if you don't know what this is, right? There's no Nissan badging on this thing. Ah. So they don't even know if it's Japanese. Well, they know it's Japanese because it's right-hand drive. Yeah. But if you don't know anything about cars and you saw this S, yeah, this isn't a familiar symbol to anyone, and there's no Nissan badging on this thing. Very cool. Well, what's cool is Fair Lady's right back there, which is a Nissan, which is. What, they're, they're cousins at least, right? I mean, the Fair Lady started back in the 70s, and this came around the late, uh, the S chassis, Sylvia's. The S110 was in 1978, I think. Yeah. And the very first Z car, which is actually S30 chassis code, was 1969 or 1970 or mm. something like that. Yeah, that's cool. But I know they share some of the same parts. Uh, I actually got some parts for that for from this car. Well, they were for this car for that car back there to delete my high cast so when i was looking um so it, the inside is is pretty sweet too and and uh richard was telling me about these gauge uh tell me about about how they made these oh yeah so yeah. nissan purposely um you see all these uh ac vents and actually you'll see in the middle the three ac vents that are supposed to be there from the factory are gauges and nissan actually made them like that on purpose because you know it's lightweight sports car rear wheel drive they knew people were going to start tuning these and tracking these so they made it simple instead of getting some ugly aftermarket gauge holder for your center yeah just pop out the ac vents because a lot of track cars don't have ac anyway right and they, they'll fit a 60 gauge just right in there no problem that that is just that's just too cool it makes me want to do it in my wrangler like wranglers have the same exact you know like a design not probably definitely not the same size but that is just that is just too cool that's all I was riding around with the windows down with the heater on and I actually still have heater and AC in this thing so you know get the heater through the floorboard and yeah. the heater through this but that's all blocked now <laughs> with the gauge that's cool I know there's a guy in Australia I just ordered it last night yeah. he actually makes a bracket that'll hold yeah. the gauge yeah 
but still lets the air through. Yeah. So hopefully they'll be here from uh, Australia soon. And, oh, that's uh, cool. We'll swap in the bracket, so I'll get some airflow coming through the three center vents as well. Okay. And you're, you do you have a YouTube now? Are you started one? Uh, I'm I'm in the process of starting one. I just picked okay. up this car, so I mean. Okay. So you guys stay tuned to this. I'll, I'll put I'll post it as soon as he gets it, and you guys can follow him and uh, see some some of that stuff he's doing. He has converted this to a drift car, uh, which he doesn't. You know, I mean, it's 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 a Sylvia, right? It's an S chassis. I was so. gonna say that's my old drift car over there. Yeah, that's the that's another one that I, I grabbed off him for all the goodies that he had on it because we were gonna turn the R spec that I have into a drift car, but I I have a hundred different projects, so everything gets on the back burner every day. But um, man, I st I love the inside of this car. I, I love almost everything about this thing it's just unique it's cool it's japanese i guess maybe because we can't have it right grass is always greener oh uh, yeah i mean there's a <laughs> this is the one body code for the sylvia that never made it they they i think the s12s the s110s yeah the s13 s14 body styles they all made it to the states yeah with a different motor but the s15 body was only sold in japan new zealand and australia yeah they never bothered making a left left hand drive version yeah which is why those three countries are the only ones that that imported them that's why everybody wants it that's why they're they're the forbidden fruit they're almost like uh not the gtr not the r34 but you know the cars that we can't have you know which is really neat you said this was factory because that 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 is one of the coolest a pillar mounts yeah. i've seen so the a pillar itself um the spec r's yeah uh the spec R's were the boosted SR20 um, turbocharged cars. Yeah. From the factory, this pillar is a factory Nissan piece. Yeah. But the previous owner, he swapped out the gauge to an AEM boost controller. Yeah. Type. But that, yeah, that that was a boost gauge uh -huh. uh, from Nissan. That's very cool. Yeah. They they so they 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 knew what they were doing when they built this car. They had plans for it, or they knew people had plans for it anyway. You got a back seat. Oh yeah, I got a back seat. Oh, it's the size of my RX-7 back seat. That's, that's so, so convenient. <laughs> you know, usually as a car sure. generation like goes to fourth to fifth generation, they get bigger, and a fifth to a sixth generation, they get bigger and bigger. Yeah. The S14 car is actually bigger than the S15. It got smaller. This one. Yeah, this car this actually got smaller, smaller than the, uh, than the S14 because I used to have a, a S14 back in the states. Yeah. It wasn't as small as this thing. This thing, you could, it's, it's a little smaller. I mean, it's yeah. not like super duper small or anything, but right. they actually did make the S15 a smaller car than the S14. Uh, it, it's it's wicked smooth. Uh, I love the stance on it. Uh, it looks good. I mean, I can't wait to see what you do with it. You're going converting a mostly back to OEM? Yeah. Or so JDM? I kind of want to go to like factory plus. Yeah. So like the, um, the Nismo bumper, um, some more like factory type of factory type of look cars yeah um something like that i don't want to put over fenders or anything crazy like that on. you don't want a rocket bunny on here i mean it's unmolested <laughs> rear quarters you know how right. rare these are right. this thing has not <laughs> have holes There's... the only thing is that the, the lips are rolled this oh. thing is nice and clean yeah i was looking at that man the stance is is, is i mean yeah. dude i got my fingers stuck in there when i was trying to show you just now that's pretty cool pretty neat I mean, it's unmolested. The body is unmolested on this thing, so I, I really yeah. don't want to be drilling holes into it. If no. It track dedicated only. Yeah. Then yeah, I probably would start drilling holes and putting wide fenders and stuff like that in it. But you, you ain't gonna see a lot of unmolested S15s. That's why it's always like it's kind of cool sometimes when you find a car that is molested because you're like, yes, I can do like crazy crap to it, right? Stop caring about it. Yeah. Right. You're not afraid like to drill holes. Thing, the second that thing got into an accident, I started doing all sorts of stuff to it. Right. I mean, yeah. it's the same thing with this Supra. I mean, it's. Well, I don't. We, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> Just a whole other video. But uh, it's super clean. I love. Like I was telling Richard, I love how they put this in the windshield. You know, a lot of guys have it back here. It's all bent up. You know, same Supra. Fair Lady's the same. But this is actually in the windshield. I. And I love rear-view wipers. I'm, I'm a big fan of them. Most people shave them or whatever, but you ain't shaving. <laughs> I mean, you can delete it, but you ain't shaving this one. Oh, uh, yeah, you ain't You, <laughs> you won't have a giant hole in your boss. <laughs> anyway, it's a cannon down there. What kind of exhaust is this? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea? <laughs> it's a dirty one. Can you fist it? You can't. Oh, man. I was going to say it. It's not fistable. <laughs> That's a dirty one. That's what it is. Yeah. you swapping that out to a titanium. That's all right. Just knows you got a, you got a turbo in there. It's good. Anyways, what kind of brakes? Is this, is this stock brakes? Uh, bad brakes. I think there's some air in the line. Some, um, <laughs> At least he's honest. That's what I love about it. Yeah. He's always and honest like about said, it. It's the first day kind of driving the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, I, I don't know. It, 
it does, I mean, it's not like it's super duper dangerous or anything, but right. I just thought it'd have a little bit more stopping power. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's just cool stuff you get to improve on, so there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I, I commented on the Ganador meters. I thought those were pretty sweet. Uh, you said you're going to sell them for about two grand, right? Yeah, sure. So <laughs> if any, anybody wants them out there, comment down below, and we'll, we got a set of them for two grand. They'll sell them for you. Uh, anyways, uh, man, it's a beautiful car, man. Thanks for letting us look at it. Uh, yeah, I, I, we can't wait to see what you do with it, man. Um, again, I'll, I'll put the his information down below, at least his Instagram, right? We'll yeah. throw his Instagram down below. You guys keep keep up with Richard. Uh, we're going to be featuring the car uh, as, as, many, as much as he'll let us. Uh, and and uh, see where it goes from here, I because I still gotta pick up some parts and stuff. So I'll yeah. buy every now and then. Okay. Well, we're we're looking at yeah. I'm, I'm looking. He's looking to teach me how to drift, you know. And uh, well, maybe uh, he shook, shook his head kind of sideways. <laughs> so background: I competed in Korea professionally. Right. I got some coupe back there for about seven or eight years, and I retired about two or three years ago um, because I bought a house. The Genesis Coupe took a crap. It was a 500 horsepower motor. Um, but the thing about race engines is, if, you know, after every season you need to rebuild it. Some things happen, and I kind of retired from drifting. But yeah. I'm in a good place now, and this team, the deal was too good to pass up. I've seen S14 rolling chassis yeah. go for more than what I bought this car for. Well, are you going to tell us how? Are you, is, it, is it a secret? Are you going to tell us how much you paid for it? I'll, I'll, I'll say it. What, what do you got? It's $6,500. $6,500. I can't stop smiling whenever he says it because that's ridiculous. Oh, man. So, you guys. I literally saw a link just a, a week ago. My buddy. Yeah. So, I'm sure I'm sure you've seen um, all the, uh, you know, if, you're, if you follow FD, there's been a rule change in the past couple of days. Yeah. Um, Pro 2 is going away and it's now Pro Spec. Yeah. But a lot of Pro 2 cars out there, they're built like they're really super duper overbuilt. Yeah. And Pro Spec, they're going to spec class. So it's like uh, what, what um, Koreans call one make. You know, yeah. There's some restrictions to your car that you have to do. Like so everybody's standard. Yeah. So I've seen, I've seen yeah. Pro 2 rolling chassis, uh, S14, no motor, nothing. Yeah. And they go for, you know, more than I bought this thing. That, that's incredible, man. Incredible price. I, like I said, every time I, I think about it, I, it just makes me smile. Which, I got a great deal on the Fox. And I haven't, I, we haven't featured the Fox yet because I'm still in there tearing it apart. But uh, it, it, it was pissing all over the place. He gave me a broke car. <laughs> so, but, but we're making it happen. He gave me all the parts for it, so I can't wait to get on that. Uh, and may, maybe we're drifting together. That was his original tent where the Fox body was to drift it anyways. So, hey, man, there, there's hope, maybe. And so, and I also want a drift Jeep. So there's there's a lot of goals. Project never done, right? Anyways, hey, thanks for tuning in, you guys. If you guys want more, you got questions for uh, Richard, uh, I'm gonna post an Instagram down below. Uh, leave the comments down below. Hit the make that red button gray, please, with descriptions, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks, Brand James. See ya. Peace.